Hey everybody, so I actually have been traveling for probably close to 12 hours. Hopped on in a red eye last night to come to New York and then took a two hour Uber to my friend's house. Immediately hopped in the car and drove down here to uh, Williamsport, PA. One of my best friends from college is getting married. This is actually my date for the wedding. Yeah, we've only been together for, I don't know, maybe two weeks now, but I really think he's the one. I mean, like, he's just so sexy. I mean, like, I mean, like, sexual right there. fucking crazy week I have been traveling so goddamn much I played on ladies night um, two days ago on live with the bike it was awesome I fucking love playing with ladies we had some wine flowing and we had some you know swapped investment strategies and uh, nail colors and it was just like great all around so let's get into some hands and uh, yeah I'll pay for it up front and if you lose the bet at the end of the night then you pay me yeah. Okay. So Candy opens it up an early to 40. We get a couple callers, and I'm in the big blind with Queen 7 suited. And this seems like an easy decision to just fold, but the thing about Queen 7 that I want to let you guys know, it's kind of a little poker hack for you, is that you actually have a 90% chance of flopping a double gutter when you have Queen 7 suited. Double gutters are really powerful. If you have a double gutter, not only do you have more outs, but it's really disguised. So um, I really think the double gutter is the set of the future. That's why anytime you have queen seven, especially suited, especially in the big blind, and especially diamonds, you have to play it. Jeremy with a donation said, best lineup I've seen in months. What's wait, wait, up, wait. I was playing with Bart last night. Can Bart says, we played a big pot on 10, 9, deuce, heart, heart. I had ace, five of hearts. She had aces. Oh, this wasn't last night. This was... Uh, in the past okay and uh they got it all in for eight thousand each it looks like and she won wow uh yeah just bring a bottle out and then i guess like three glasses colleen raising it up with ace seven of diamonds and marley four glasses i'm only gonna have a little too yeah picking up pocket you know, queens you want wine colleen says she's only gonna have a little wine tonight that's bullshit okay. sorry <laughs> Colleen says she has to uh, work tomorrow. Yeah. I asked her. Not whoa, her. whoa, whoa, whoa. EJ just did a cold four bet to 505 with pocket fours. Ooh. I bet you. Um, I bet you. My, my, my bet is Marley, looking good Marley's here. Going all in. I, think, I think I'm in good four shape. Four coming, here. bro. Marley's going all in. Wait, who Marley has is EJ? not going all in. He has EJ. I'll put a side bet, Marley flats. No, I'm not. She probably $100. Is. 50. Okay. Okay. Marley Dennis flats. Just loves to lose money. <laughs> Marley flats here all day. Nope. She does. Nope. Maybe. You're gonna owe me. In. You're gonna owe me another. She's 50. Not, what are you flatting for? The girl has two thousand. Look at her. Mind. Watch her oh, flat. Oh no, Marley! No. Oh, Marley! Hey, chat, give I it up you for better. me. <laughs> so Colleen opens it up in early position to forty. I three bet pocket queens in middle uh, to one sixty. Uh, the reasoning behind this is because I have a very good hand. Um, and EJ decides to slide in the cold four bet in the small blind to 500. She has a pretty typical four betting range here, which would just be, you know, queens, kings, and aces, ace, king, ace, queen, and pocket fours. So I make the call, uh, and we see a flop of king, jack, four, rainbow. In the game. Wait, who? <laughs> he just Easy gives money. away money. Oh, 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 my, oh my god! god. <laughs> Action killer, though, king, king. Oh, oh my god. Well, I mean, if she's Action flatting queens, she's, she's uh, definitely afraid of king. a king. So Listen, guys. Ace king god. When I know Jack's I'm going to flop a set, I code four bet as well. I also That's bet ridiculous. on e EJ to, to, to win tonight for my, uh, I don't have to pay for the wine bet. Wait, Should I just buy wait. out now? Do you have both of these? No, I have Marley. Oh, you have Marley. Yeah. I have, he has the one that's going <laughs> to lose money in this pot. You could buy out. You could buy she's out for a ball She's going to fold. If you, it, she's the, oh, she folded. She decides to down bet to 330. 
Um, and you know what I'm thinking here is that she really can't have kings and she really can't have aces because I feel like those hands would be better served as a flat preflop, but she can have pocket fours, jack four, and king four. I decide to make a really disciplined laydown and fold the pocket queens to a down bet. She does end up having the pocket fours, so my read was right, and uh, yeah, on to the next hand. There. Well, we have, and you plenty left others than, oh, It's yeah, always yeah, awesome yeah. when you just you. flop and set on a side board. Colleen opens in early. Uh, I get one caller in middle position, and I'm in the cutoff with ace, ten of clubs. Just think I'm gonna get called by worse a bunch and just wanna play a big bloated pot with a pretty good hand in position. Uh, in this game. So I uh, three bet to uh, 200 and Candy on the button decides to four bet to 600. This sucks. So she only has a thousand dollars behind which really sucks dick. But I'm an idiot. I need to just dump it. I need to just fold once in my goddamn life. But you know every once in a while I just get the itch to get stubborn and I call and um, light $400 on fire and just have to check fold. So yeah, she had pocket kings and um, owned my face. Preflop play, probably the most out of line thing we've seen so far is EJ cold four betting pocket fours, but you know, if you're gonna flop a set, you might as well four bet. Yeah, it was amazing. The way it turned out was amazing. Like the quality of like the videos and stuff, I was like, like we were this far away and I was like, wow, I have, I can like see yeah. everything. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this hand starts by me opening uh, pocket queens and early to 50. Candy makes the call next to act and EJ calls in middle position. Thank, thank God that, you know, it's like, you know. Marley has the best of it, pocket queens. Right she bets a hundred. I mean, yeah. Candy's gonna like call with sevens. Really, really EJ with a gutter and backdoor flush draw. Let's see if she decides to continue like, here. I, of position. course, I can't help but like look how I look, you know, so I'm like looking over and I'm like. I know, they had too many monitors there. There's so like, many monitors. Look, yeah, but like, then they had three alcohol. Oh, that's so wild. That was right. right. They gave like us little holding. champagnes with little yeah, like, like oh, champagne. I didn't know. Yeah, I was like, it's like, <laughs> drink out of the little, right, the splits of champagne. Did you drink them? Yeah. When they had the little. 10 on the turn, Marley's yeah. still with the and best they, of it. They, you know, and Candy's beating ace, king, ace, yeah, queen, yeah, king, queen yeah, here. So if she called flop, she might decide to call again on the turn. And I'm lying. Slippery slope. I had both. <laughs> I was okay. Flop is jack 10 deuce rainbow. So I make a standard C bet, two thirds pot, a hundred bucks, and candy calls next to act. Turn is a 10. It's normally a card I would check a lot of the times, but she's been pretty sticky post and uh, calling pretty light. So it just, I'm just, I need to bet large because I'm gonna get called pretty much always here. She's gonna have a 10 sometimes, but you know what? Well, because I got one double up. Kayla doubled me up. Got you, girl. <laughs> yeah. What? Yeah. A live stream and you didn't like crush your soul? That one she didn't crush. You didn't. And then, uh, so Marley's going to bet again on the river. So she's trying to get value against a jack. And I don't blame her for betting the river here. And look at this. Uh, Candy. We, Looks like she wants to call bottle? sevens. Yeah, it's Candy like, does hero her. So a great play by Marley to get three streets of value. And the river actually pairs the do, so it's a double paired board. Standard, standard value bet again, especially first Candy. She likes to pay off and she really just is a, she doesn't believe me or anybody else. So I put in a standard half pot value bet of 450 and she calls me with the pocket sevens. This hand, I mean, it's actually a masterpiece. Wait, uh, who do I have again? I don't even know. Uh, one and two seat. Oh, one and two. Ooh, I got Colleen. Let's flop a set, Colleen. Mm -hmm. Ace, three, Good king. That. Make it 500, Pri. Is it a, um... Can I see that for a second? Yeah, all week they have flights, like, twice a day. Yeah. I started the first... Yeah, I, I knew it. So it's a card player tour. Okay. Okay. Uh, flop Colleen, Colleen has the best hand here, pocket threes, but it's going to be really hard to hold up. But look at this, she leads with pocket threes. So this hand is versus Colleen again. She uh, limps under the gun, and I make it uh, 60 in middle with, with ace of clubs, king of hearts. She calls. Flop is jack eight, six, two hearts. 
she checks and I think I just need to check back here. I just um, have a ton of good turns I can improve on. I don't wanna get blown off my equity. This isn't a flop she's going to be folding that often. Sure, she had pocket threes uh, in hindsight, so she actually should be folding that hand in particular, but it doesn't matter because she's gonna fold later on anyways. Um, I check back, turn's a great card. It's a 10 of hearts, so I have two overs, a gut shot, uh, and a second not flush draw. She bets pretty big, she bets 100 bucks into like 130. Uh, I call twice that. But Marley has a gutter, two overs, and a second nut flush draw. And she's, no go she's not going she, anywhere. Yeah, she can continue here. What do, you, what do you think about her flat? Like, do you ever consider, and now she goes the nuts, but do you ever consider putting on the pressure with Ace King there? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I think you, you can definitely make a move. You know, in position too. But I think it's, it's okay in position to just call for that yeah. price because there's so many good river cards. A queen, an ace, a king, a heart. She's hoping her her three has what a are the showdown value. Colleen calls three hearts here. Um, one and four. Oh, so I'll, I'll give you three to she one. Way too much. I'll give you three. I'll give you three to one. <laughs> she over. I'm, I'm just part. gonna print money off you tonight. I don't Dennis. care what we bet on, Dennis. I will just bet you all day on everything. <laughs> Two seventy five <laughs> into <laughs> three hundred. What do you want, man? I'll give you a price. Hurry up, though. Yeah, value bet. Hundred bucks. You get called. Hundred bucks. Uh, I, I bet you hundred dollars she folds. Either six hundred you get called or a hundred you get called. Oh my, oh god. my god! Did you guys bet? Wow. Well. And the river is a perfect card. It's the king of hearts. So I turn the uh, nutter butters, and she checks. I bet pretty large here. The range is pretty static here. I don't think she's ever gonna fold any heart, and um, might even get heroy with um, two pair or a set. So I bet 275 and she calls with threes with a heart and we take it down. I like call smash. Seen what I said? Yeah. Colleen uh, on the okay. button with King Queen off. Really okay. good hand you know on the button. She raises $40, which is pretty standard, I would say. And then uh, Lily calls with 6 8 suited. Okay, Marley with a big hand here. Three betting. Quite which hand large. do you prefer here? I don't like her sizing, uh, but. Ramsey. Because I, I want to keep hands like King Queen in. <laughs> What? Let me ask you I a question. Like okay. Don't See, ask me a dumb question. Obviously, it's not I like dumb. No, no, but you, you don't like Ace King necessarily because there's a king already out there. And I, I haven't seen Shut the other up. hands. Let's just go back to action. No, this is look, because 6 8 of clubs. Hold on. Okay, fine. You win. You win. Is Chad as frustrated with me as this guy? You win. Okay, so which hand do you prefer now? I still prefer Ace King. Why? Because it's the better hand. Okay, but King Queen could bluff. She has the betting lead. It doesn't matter that she's out of position. She's checking. She has so many options. She can check rates, check call. She's never folding here. Disagreements. And Colleen down bets. I like the bet here. I would absolutely also bet here. This hand is also versus Colleen. Uh, she opens the button to 35. Uh, small blind calls, and I'm in the big blind with ace king off. Standard three bet here. Uh, I actually decided to go a bit bigger just because she has been getting really, really sticky, and I just want to get value. So I size up to 225, and she calls. Flop is jack, jack 10, and rainbow. And it's kind of interesting here because I think that checking and betting are both fine. And I like to do a little bit of both in these spots, just depending on the opponent and depending on the situation. But I decided to check and kind of just go into realization immediately on the flop. I don't really love my decision to do it. The reason why I didn't in the beginning is I thought she would be over uh, stabbing here with a super wide range of hands. I'm not checking to check fold, by the way. I'm checking to check call. And I thought that she would get sticky if I decided to uh, triple off here, which if I bet the flop, I think that I should be tripling off a decent amount of the time. And she's just a really sticky, sticky opponent. I don't really think that I need to be bluffing this much versus her so i check she down bets and i quickly call what do you think about the down bet uh i like it i mean it's i don't know okay on this turn after you could get somebody to fold with a down bet I that's mean, why marley's like repping a tight range right yeah she's always. repping like over pairs and what do you do here on a river if you're colleen and marley checks to you i, I jam but, but that's, but, but that's just well. That's just because like Marley's hand kind of looks like Ace King when she checks twice. Absolutely. Uh, like, but she could also be like trapping with aces and kings. It's true. Like you don't mind that. Flop so why with would kings. you jam? I mean, I would probably uh, do well, another dump. I would jam to fold out. I would bet two hundred fifty dollars because there's no uh, way Ace well, King is calling I would also jam here. to fold out like pocket eights, like pocket pocket nines. That's true. Like, there's a lot of reasons I would jam. Yeah, but I mean. I mean, if, if, uh, she if is Colleen bets like small enough, uh, Marley's going to call. That's a great call. bet by Colleen. You know, like, she it's can't a great just bet. fold. 
Six ten into uh, that's a big bet. Seven seven something. She bets like seventy percent. She bet a pot size. Yeah, yeah pot, no, no, it's a pot. Turn is a seven. Not a great card for me at all. It is a big range card for her, but she checks back, and the river um, is another jack. It's kind of interesting here because I do have a big range advantage. I could easily and definitely would check aces and kings on the flop a decent amount of the time. I could go for a big bet here and kind of turn my hand to a bluff, but honestly I just feel like my hand is just a little bit too good to bluff and, as, and versus someone like Colleen where I think that her, she has a pretty wide range pre. I just think I have more showdown value than I think and I do have a decent bluff catcher. But she actually does go for a big bet here, about 6-10 I think she bet. So almost a pot size bet. And I think about it for a few minutes and I let it go. And she ends up having the king-queen, so she got one through and she owned me. Not bad. Doing graphics and coming up with clever... No, you didn't. <laughs> no, I did. I did. I thought he was a gentleman. <laughs> go on. How about... This is stupid. No, it's. I know it's gonna be stupid because it's coming I, out of your mouth. I pip, oh, you pip, the all pip for V pip. What's it called? He has. I'm gonna mute you. He has. <laughs> a line. Sorry about that, guys. All right, we have a big flop here. Uh, nut flush draw for Marley. Top pair and a flush draw for Candy. Candy puts in a raise here. We're gonna have a big pot. If a club comes, we could have our biggest pot of the night, potentially. These two girls are very deep. This hand was one of the last hands of the night. Someone actually bought me a massage from out in the poker room, so I was getting a full deep tissue massage. She was actually giving me the happy ending as this hand was happening, so I got a little run good from that. Um, I opened it up with an, an ace nine of clubs under the gun to 50. Uh, Candy calls next to act, uh, and we see a flop two ways. Flop is pretty amazing. It's queen, four, five, two clubs. I see bet 50. Oh, she actually raises here to 150. I've got the fucking nut flush draw and over card. I've got trips draws. I got straight backdoor straight draws. Do I? No, I don't. But I have a lot of fucking draws, and I'm never folding. Oh, and the eight of clubs comes on the turn. Are you kidding me? We could have a monster pot here. It goes check, check. Wow. What is going on? And the river comes an ace. Oh, oh my. The river doesn't change much. Does oh, my. Is, is Candy going to just call here? She is a wizard if she somehow just calls. <laughs> I, I put her on the six, seven of clubs. She has to have it. Oh, my God. <laughs> if Candy doesn't raise and call three bed here, this is going to be unbelievable. On. Bully. Oh, okay, she raised <laughs> yeah. it. A small raise. Yeah. She raises a 700. Yeah, 400 like, more. Like, and like, what David, size is Marley going to go for they're down like, here? No, why don't? Kayla, That's got to like, be David, music to At least 2K. Like, At least 2K here. Oh, yeah. That's, uh, yeah, that's she goes 23 or 24. Oh, no, she takes it back. So 2,000. She could have went bigger. That's a good bet. I think it's good. You're, you're definitely getting called 13 more. There's just no way Candy folds here, yeah. right? Credit to Candy here for uh, tanking a long time. She has a bad feeling, yeah, but I just... I know. Uh, there's no way she's going to fold. I mean, what is Marley free betting with for this size as a bluff, or just in general? But at the same time, can you fold the third nuts? Yeah. I can't. It'd be a great fold I'm sure there's people that can. I'm sure people have folded it, you know. I'm Jean, by the way. But... Hi, Jack. I mean... I will say this, if Candy somehow makes this fold, which would be incredible, <laughs> so and I don't expect I'm it, she will n have lost pretty close to the minimum the way the hand played out. That She checked back the turn. Yeah, she's going to call here. Yeah. Turn the Nutter Butters. It is a um, eight of clubs. It actually goes check, check, unfortunately. And the river is an offsuit ace. I bet 300 into 400 for value, and she makes it 700. And I am... Very happy. She's pretty stationy and likes to look people up a lot, but I just want to get called by her entire range. I don't want to get greedy here. Sure, if she has the king high flush or even the queen high flush, she's probably going to statically call a pretty large re raise here, but 
I just want to get called by 100 of the range and uh, even maybe straights or uh, sets. So I make it 2,000 even and she thinks about it for a little while and goes ahead and makes the call with the Queen Jack of Clubs. So kind of a cooler there, uh, shitty. But I will say that I think the main reason why I won that hand is because I was getting an awesome massage and I have to tell you that if you're ever in the LA area, get a massage while you play poker at all times. It is half the price of Vegas. It is, they're amazing massages and totally worth it. And I got that massage equity, man. So I went ahead and got them. I just love playing in LA. I've thought about it moving out there so many times. The games are just so great. The energy is just so great. There's just so much going on. You know, Vegas is amazing and I love Vegas for what it is. I don't know, maybe one of, these, one of these days I'll make the jump to move out there, but I'm definitely going to be playing out there a lot in the upcoming months. Somewhere else I wanted to talk about is one of my favorite um, casinos in the fucking world is Pepper Mill Casino in Reno. And ah! the staff is amazing. Um, Jimmy up there runs a great high stakes game for those of you who like to play big. I just want to give a little shout out to those places because they're really, really special. Here in Williamsport, Pennsylvania, the heart of nowhere. One more person asks me if I count cards, I'm gonna kill them.